What's going on, guys? Whoa. Mind blown. Well, this news is something that happened a few days ago that I meant to comment on, and the latest episode delayed that. So now I'm going to comment on it. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be as dramatic as the news about Andrew Lincoln leaving, but it's definitely going to raise some eyebrows, especially for me, just in general. Um, so Denai Guerra is leaving The Walking Dead in season 10. She's going to have a limited capacity in season 10. That was the news that broke. Um, it broke around a, a week after it was announced that season 10 was being renewed. <clears throat> so they must have everyone's contracts hammered out for the new season that comes that that's coming out fall of this year, 2019. So it's it's to be assumed that I mean look I, do not I, I, and this is what happens with the show and this is what happened to Laura Cohan who plays Maggie um, you get these actors who have been in the show for a long time and you it's fatigue I mean the, the I mean Miss Shones I mean what Denai has been in the show since what 2012 this is her seventh year Andrew Lincoln was obviously there from the start. Um, uh, same thing with Lauren Cohan. I mean, well, she was she was there one year less than Lincoln, but she was still in season two, so she's still been there for the stretch. Um, so you get these actors, actors and actresses who get exposure because The Walking Dead has a very rabid, dedicated fan base. As you know, I'm making vlogs. Many other people are. You guys watch my content, like to stay updated. So it goes without saying that yeah, it has a big fan base and. Um, these actors and actresses, they get exposure from all of that. They get exposure uh, to their acting talents, especially if they're an actor that stays on the show for a while, that Scott Gimple, Greg Nicotero, the rest of the team they like working with. Um, <clears throat> they get a lot of media exposure. And I know that The Walking Dead, unfortunately, hasn't won Oscars or, or Oscars, for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, Emmy is what I meant. Um, like, you know, the Emmys that Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones have won, like, Best Supporting Actor, uh, Lead Role, uh, Best Television Drama. Like, The Walking Dead, the only awards it gets is, like, the Saturn Awards. It also gets awards for uh, costume design because Greg Nicotero does such a great job with the zombies and the makeup and making them look really gnarly and nasty. But other than that, the actors don't get recognition for their talents. And it's really stupid because... Again, it's either been Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad a few years back when Breaking Bad was still on, or or shows that have this huge diversity twist, like The Handmaiden's Tale had the whole, you know, um, it had the gender thing going on, and people were more, Hollywood elite was more willing to vote for it, and it's dumb. I don't know if it's because The Walking Dead's just been so far into its seasons, because I, I mean, you th I've said this many times that Andrew Lincoln should, should there were multiple seasons and pick one or two three four five moments from any of the nine nine and a half seasons that he was in of the Walking Dead show and I mean there was you know when he beat up Pete and he had that speech in Alexandria the season seven premiere when um Negan's torturing him and he's about to cut off his kid's arm and he's he's just it's complete mental breakdown like there's so many moments so many uh, moments, and it's just the dedication, blood, and sweat that guy's put that guy put into the show. Now that you know he did nine seasons, five episodes, or I mean, technically eight seasons, five episodes. So eight full seasons, and then an extra five into season nine. But and then he'll be in the movies. So I guess the point I'm trying to bring across here is that these actors and actresses get exposure from the show. Even though they, they, they have the mainstream support. Because think of like the millions of people that watch The Walking Dead. I mean, you had the height of the show was the season 5 and the season 7 premiere. When 17 plus million people watched that premiere. The season 5, I mean, and both of them were kind of cliffhangers. Because season 5's premiere was the Terminus thing where they were locked in the train car. And then season 7 was the who did Negan kill? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, first person thing. So... 
and they were all in that. I mean, Maggie and the, the act, the, the two actors, actresses, or all three, Maggie, uh, um, Michonne, and Rick were all in that clearing. They were all in that freight car in Terminus. I mean, they were in those big moments. So those 17 plus million people have seen them and know their talent. So um, Black Panther, for example, the movie, when Denai Guerra was in that, people were like, oh, well, okay, she's from Walking Dead. And then the Avengers Infinity War, she was briefly in it when they, were, they did the Wakanda scenes. Uh, she, was, she was in it. So... You're, and then Lauren Cohan's on a new show, Whiskey Cavalier, which is part of the... It's the, Well, not part of the reason. It's the reason she's not in the show right now. And she actually listed in an interview that when you're in a show for so long, you kind of want to do other stuff. Like, you, you know, you, you're in the Georgia heat, killing zombies, leading people in the hilltop. Like, Lauren Cohan probably was just like, ah, oh, this is just... Like, all the actors collectively felt this way, at least three of them. Chandler Riggs is a different story. Maybe we'll make a vlog about that. His is a unique case, so we're not going to group him into this. But Denai Guerra, Andrew Lincoln, and Lauren Cohan, the three like major, major main characters, unless you're going to count Norman Reedus and Daryl and Carol, um, they're like the main, the main people. And especially Mich like, and as as these leaders get taken off the show, it keeps shifting. You saw it in the most recent episode, season nine, episode nine, when G when they bring Jesus back to the hilltop and he's dead. There's a hilltop woman who approaches Tara, fucking Tara of all people, and says, "Uh, so Maggie's gone and Jesus is dead. You're like we're looking to someone to to lead us. Right now we're looking to you. Now, from the previews from the next episode, it looks like Daryl might like." come out of hiding and maybe he'll be the leader of the hilltop but we've seen before that daryl doesn't work well like he's a very he's good in a group but he also likes to have his independence as we yeah you know, six year time jump and he was out in the woods living on his own with his dog probably trying to find rick um he doesn't do well in the leadership roles we saw that the first part of season nine where he was trying to lead the sanctuary and it just wasn't working, especially since they imprisoned him and treated him like shit. And he, in season eight, he wanted them all dead anyway. So, I guess, the funny thing is Norman Reedus has said that he'll never leave the show. I mean, it's, it's just a matter of opinion because he loves it so much. And also, he's very good friends with Jeffrey D. Morgan, who plays Negan. So, I guess maybe that's good news for Negan that he won't be killed off the show as well. Um, at the moment, they're, you know, two of my favorite characters. And I like that Daryl is getting more speaking time. In season seven and eight, the guy barely said anything because he was imprisoned, he was at war. So I guess they weren't really the right atmospheres for him to talk. But especially those first five episodes of season nine, when he had he was having conversations with Rick, like the conversation, like their final conversation, really, when they're in the hole. And they're talking to each other. And that's like one of my favorite conversations of The Walking Dead. Rick and Daryl's final conversation. It's a very expansive... It Like, it just... It spans so much of the show. Because Daryl's like, oh, Glenn saved you in the beginning. And, you know, look what Negan did. And you put Negan in prison. How could you do that? Like, it just... It had like, like, like an arc to it. Like, they were almost like summing up as they should have been. Since, you know, this was probably the last time they're going to speak unless something happens later down the road in the movies or the show. But for that moment, that was their last conversation and they were just kind of checking in and, you know, they're just, just getting a lot off their chest, but stuff that's really spanned nine seasons of the show and to really sit back and say, yeah, there's a, a lot of, a lot has happened. And again, to some degree, and I was joking that when season eight ended, when Negan and the saviors were defeated, Carl's memory was fulfilled and the communities were going to live in harmony for at least another year and a half as they try to bring the saviors into the fold and try to get them on board with shit. Um, at least, like, it looked like that was one chapter of the show done. Like, that was... And, 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 and really, like, in terms of directing, too, because Scott Gimple from seasons four to eight 
for most of, like he was with that show as the showrunner for more time than Glenn Mazzara or Frank Darabout. The two previous showrunners, Gimple from seasons four to eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, five seasons of The Walking Dead, he has been the showrunner for. Now we have a new showrunner and it's a new beginning, you know, new characters, a time jump, a new showrunner, and to yeah, again, it does feel like the show is really, really different. We've had these conversations before, but I guess actors and actresses leaving is going to be par for the course. But I just, for me, it's like, how many more of these departures can you have? Because not only that, you're going to want to kill off characters for your suspense factor for the show. So, you know, like Jesus, for example, he died as a way of bringing on the Whisperers, but... You know, you're losing other members because now Michonne, like, Michonne's going. Like, people have speculated, you know, is she going to go off and look for Rick? Is she going to be in the Walking Dead movies with, you know, Jadis and Rick and uh, Michonne? Are they going to be in the Walking Dead movies together? Um, none of that has been announced, so we can only speculate. Um, it, I mean, it's unfortunate. In a perfect world, Rick, Michonne... And, and Maggie, and maybe even Carl, would all still be in the show. And this would feel like just the other seasons, you know? But it would I, I would want the show to evolve. Like, I wouldn't want it to keep getting stale. Like, I do agree it was kind of getting stale. But I'm... With how well they're building up the Whispers as villains. Because I saw some preview clips to flashbacks in the next episode. episode the episode that's coming out this Sunday. I saw previews of flashbacks to Alpha and Lydia, like the villains, like they're giving them a b b backstory. We've barely met Alpha other than that clip where she aims her shotgun at Alden and uh, Luke. And we're getting backstory with her. Like we never got this with Negan. We spent like a season and a half with Negan swinging his bat around and cracking shit jokes. And then, you know, as season eight went on, we started to learn a little bit more about him, season nine. But we've we don't we have we have never had a flashback with Negan. We've never I don't I think this is the first time with a villain other than Gareth. Other than Gareth, if you recall, and that was a really good episode in No Sanctuary, where we saw a flashback to the people that originally were in charge of Terminus, and they aided the mindset of the cannibals to lead that life and we saw that flashback and it was very effective we have not we didn't have that for the governor we didn't have that for the wolves we didn't have we haven't had that for negan negan's talked about lucille in his past but we haven't had a full straight up flashback of it and now we're getting one for alpha and lydia which and we were seeing we're seeing lydia's dad alpha's husband He's not in the comics. He's not in the comics at all. And they're like, he's in this show as part of an extension. And it just makes me super excited as a fan. So I get that the show has to evolve and you need new characters and stuff. But like it, I wish all of this could still be going on with the same cast that we know. Because like the cast is getting smaller and smaller by the day. And we're, we're, we're losing like every season. It seems like we're like how long before... Melissa McBride, who plays Carol, I mean, she's been in the show since fucking season one. Like, how long before she is like, you know what, I'm just getting tired of doing this, and, you know, I'm just gonna move, like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, because I just, it used to be actors wouldn't leave the show, and they loved being on the show, and the only way they would leave the show is if their character was killed, per the plot. But now, as we've seen, not only with Walking Dead, but Fear the Walking Dead, characters are like asking to be written out of the story they're like like they had to change up that plot like angela king but the thing is i have to respect angela king because she's just brushing it off she's like no worries maggie's not in the story we'll adjust and i guarantee she'll do the same with michonne now that's great and all and i give her a lot of credit but again part of me especially with michonne i mean she's the mother like she's the mother figure for judith and fucking rj but let, let, lest we forget that there's another grimes that's michonne's direct blood child 
so you're just gonna take Michonne out of the show? Like, like is RJ gonna go with her? Is Judith go- like what? Like I again, so many questions. I don't really know how to respond. I well, I gave my response just now, but this is gonna be weird going forward. And she's gonna be in the rest of season nine. I'm talking about Michonne. Um. I don't know, maybe the whole mystery with the X's, the scars on the backs of Daryl and Michonne, maybe that'll answer something. But, like, I'm hoping by the end of Season 9 I have more answers as to kind of, like, what their plan is moving forward. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Episode 9 was great, and I reviewed it yesterday, but, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to need some more evidence, and I'm really excited about the alpha preview, but, you know, a lot of these departures are making me upset, and I just, I don't want the show to suffer, because I'm always, I, like, I keep thinking to myself, how would Rick react to the whispers? I can just see Andrew Lincoln's, you know, face when he acts surprised, and he's like, like, ugh, like, you know, <laughs> like, like, oh, did, did. it's like what Morgan said, people wearing dead man's faces, Rick, and just... Ah, just I I miss that that Andrew Lincoln's not going to be involved with the whispers like seeing him involved with the saviors and the governor and the termites like big comic book moments he and I've seen it I've seen the AMC behind the scenes where Andrew Lincoln's like oh we're getting to a part of the comic book that I'm really excited for that I'm really excited for and now I mean they're jumping into original material with the movies sure but I still feel that loss, man. I still feel it. So, um, those are my two cents on everything. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, again, Denai Guerra can, it's her career. She can do what she wants. Um, but, you know, a lot, you know, it's just part of me. I just want these characters to, to ride. The, like, as a fan, I'm sticking with this show until it's done. When the, it's series finale. Not season, series when I see series finale, then I will know that that's my time to check out of The Walking Dead. But until that happens, I'm staying with this show. I've been with it since 2012, 2013. That's when I got into it. And I followed all the big new castings, twists and turns, everything. And I've been making vlogs. Shit, I was making vlogs like this since season four. Then I started doing reaction videos for season six, seven, and eight. I did one for season nine for Rick's departure, and I'm still, again, mulling over. I don't know if I'm going to do them. I didn't do it for the mid-season premiere, um, and I know some people, again, might have been disappointed by that, but I'm think I'm most likely I'll do one for the finale, all right? I think I'm going to try and do one for the season nine finale, just because, like, for you guys who like my content, I know you like those reactions, okay? So I will... Put it up, see what the interest is, see if YouTube tries to take it down or whatever the heck. Um, but yeah, it still fits into my schedule. I could, because it also gives me a way to review it afterwards instead of having to wait a day and then review it. So I have that lead way. But uh, regardless, we'll talk all about this later. I just wanted to get my thoughts out about Michonne and everything going on with the show. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, again, we're going to be having consistent vlogs now that The Walking Dead is into Season 9. So look forward to all that stuff coming up. Okay? Alright. Peace out. Thanks.